Hello all. So uh, with this basic electrical lab practical legs have one very basic and fundamental practical that is Kirchhoff's voltage law and Kirchhoff's current law. As we all know that the evolution of this electrical circuitry start from this particular practical and that's what this is the very basic practical which we should understand. So basically the objective is of this practical is to study and verify the Kirchhoff's voltage law and Kirchhoff's current law through the calculation as well as the verification with respect to the practical circuit. So let's go with the apparatus. So we can see here we have three rheostat three radios with each of ratings of 140 ohms and the current value you can see it is 2.8 mps. So three rheostat which is simply considered as R1, R2 and R3. With that we have one DC power supply which is simply your SMPS and it is simply giving us the input as voltage and current. So here it act your voltage is simply act as a E and current is simply acting as your I1 because here we have current in that particular. Now the most important thing is how the circuit will going to be drawn. So let's have a small circuitry here how this circuit will be get there. So you can see here in circuit diagram that we have the EMF in the EMF as your DC circuit because it's a DC circuit so we are giving supply with respect to this DC supply. We have I1 so this I1 is nothing but your this current tab here which is simply going to be observed we will see. Then this is simply connected to your three resistance R1, R2 and R3 with respect to two more ammeters. So you can see that now let's start from the circuit diagram. So if you can see here we have this simply DC power supply E which positive is connected to I1. So you can see here that this E and I1 now as I already told this this E and I1 is there in this this power supply only. Okay. So we'll go with uh, from this onwards. So here your first terminal is connected to R1. You can see here that this is connected to your R1 means this particular point it should connect. So I'll connect here in this fashion you can see. Okay. And after this, the second terminal is connected to your I3. So you can see the second terminal is simply common to this both of ammeter I3 and I2. So here I have considered a common point you can see here. So in this particular one common point is connected to your this ammeter which is of rating of 0 to 2 you can see. And the second one, the second one you see here it is connected again the second ammeter of DC. So this common point is for your I3 and I2 emitter here. I hope it is clear to all. So this common point here it is simply connected to I3 and I2. Now let's go with again. So this I3 is connected to your R3. So see I3 means which is here like I3 this point. This is our I3. This is your I3 which is simply connected to the second rheostat point. See here you can see here. So R3 point R3 point I3 is connected to R3. So I3 connected to R3. And R3 from this two point will be there as per the circuit diagram from R3 this is two point one is get one is going back to your main supply another is connected to R2. So from this you can observe that one is going to back in this main power supply and other is going to this R2 my friend. I hope you are getting and from this R2 one terminal is connected through your ammeter. So similarly you see this R2 one terminal is connected to your I2. So this is what the circuit again I am simply making one more time please understand. So you can see here the positive is going to your one of the resistance means this E and I is there in your this board only power supply. From I1 we have this R1 connection so this meter is your R1. So you can see here this is connected to R1. Your R1 point is connected to again with two ammeters I3 and I2. So this point you can see this blue and green. So you can see here one green is connected to your I3 and this uh, blue is connected to your I2 my friend. Hope it is clear to all and after that you can see this I2 is connected to R3 point. So this I2 is I3 is connected to R3. So this is your I3. I3 second terminal that is red one is connected to your R3 terminal and from R3 second terminal from R3 second terminal again two point is going one is back to the supply another is R2. So here also you can observe 
from this point it is going to your supply and this is simply going to your R2 my friend hope it is okay to all okay so let's start with a practical one so you can observe here that as soon as I on this particular yes so now as I already told you this is at initial point where we have this 0 0 now you suppose I am increasing some voltages suppose I am increasing some voltages for your respective so suppose I am giving some voltage like 820 volt okay you can observe here so in particular we have 20 volt as input this is your E okay and that we have I1 as 39 so as per Kirchhoff's current law Kirchhoff's current law state what that the sum of total current is equal means it is always sum of total current will be 0 this is what our Kirchhoff's current law KCL okay I1 is equal to I2 plus I3 incoming current is equal to outgoing current so here incoming is your like 39 so I1 is equal to I2 plus I3 and you can see here this is your basically I2 which is having 0 0.19 okay this minus represent that yes supply should be negative only because this is DC supply so this is 0 0.9 and you can observe here this is this is exactly your related to 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 0 0.2 plus 0 0.9 0 0.19 it is coming around 0 0.39 we'll have one more reading to verify this I'll, I'll again increase some readings for you all okay you can verify this thing clearly yes now suppose I am giving again voltage 25.1 this is your E and now the I1 current incoming current is equal to 50 so this is also equal to means again your this I2 and I3 this should be equal so you can see here it is 0.24 friend your I2 is 0.24 and see, see here this is it is equivalent is it related to 0.26 so 0.26 plus 0.24 it's come around 50 my friend and here we verify this practical in so as far as observation table is concerned see so you can have this observation table where you have the supply voltage it will be something your current value and I1, I2 and I3 so whatever the, your current value will be there this should be matched for example you can see this example 0 0.2 when we have 0 0.15, 0 0.06 so 0 0.15 plus 0 0.6 is equal to 0 0.21 here we verify this so this is with respect to the calculation and this is for the measure so you can take three uh, readings and you can verify this particular circuit so this is what basically the practical which verify the Kirchhoff's voltage law and Kirchhoff's current law with respect to the calculated as well as measured one so this is what the total practical KVL and KCL. Thank you.